Hello, how are you doing today? I'm Professor Ram Krishna. This is my YouTube channel, Archiversity. Through this YouTube channel, I wish to share my knowledge in finance, accounting, and data sciences. I created hundreds of video lectures and which are freely available on this channel. So when time permits, keep watch, learn the things, and excel in your career. In my endeavors, in today's lecture, I am going to explain you the concept of a sharp ratio, also called as a sharp index. Sharp ratio or sharp index is a risk adjusted performance measure which is used to uh, assess or which is used to rank the securities or portfolios. So the index uh, with or the portfolio with the highest sharp index is considered as a better when comparing with the uh, portfolio or a security with a low sharp index. So I'll take you to my OneNote where I explain you the concept of a sharp ratio. It's a meaning and a formula to calculate. I'll solve some examples. Then uh, I also explain you the interpretation and advantages and limitations of sharp index. Now first let me explain you the concept of a sharp index or a sharp ratio. So a sharp ratio is a risk adjusted return of a, a portfolio. Since when we are talking about risk adjusted is the return that you receive on a particular security is adjusted with its risk and will ca calculate the index value that is a sharp index value. Now the portfolio with a higher sharp ratio is considered is a superior relative to its peers. Suppose you have a two uh, portfolios let us say portfolio 1 and a portfolio 2 and for a portfolio 1 your sharp index is 1.25 and for a portfolio 2, the sharp index is 1. So among these two, the portfolio 1, which is having a high sharp index value, uh, that is 1.25, is considered as a superior, and this is a, an inferior one. Now, how is it we are going to describe this uh, sharp index? Is sharp ratio is a measure of excess portfolio return. When you are talking about excess portfolio return, so excess portfolio return is also called as your risk premium or a premium amount so that is return on a portfolio minus risk free rate so we use this as a numerator that is your excess portfolio here your risk free rate is a relative and it's a standard deviation so we try to measure this with a standard deviation of a portfolio so normally when it comes to the risk free rate we consider a 90 day treasury bill as a risk free rate because we uh, we want this to be for a very shorter time period so because of which we consider a 90 day treasury bill as a risk free rate that is a yield paid on a 90 day treasury bill or a return on a 90 day treasury bill is considered as a risk free rate and the formula to calculate your uh, uh, sharp index is that return on a portfolio a minus risk free rate so this is your uh, premium then adjusted with a standard deviation so while calculating a sharp index you have to keep in mention that we are using a standard deviation as a denominator that means your standard deviation is your unsystematic risk or a stock specific stock specific risk or you can say that individual risk of a particular stock so then here we have you know uh, return of a portfolio rp is a return of portfolio then rf is risk free rate and then this is a standard deviation of a a portfolio so your standard deviation of a portfolio this equals to square root of a variance and which is equals to uh, summation of x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1 so this is how we calculate the variance then from variance to standard deviation so standard deviation is a stock specific risk so while calculating a sharp index if you are using a historical data that is a ex post then uh, we use the ex post we call that as a ex post sharp ratio and if you are calculating on expected return, so if you are calculating a sharp ratio using expected return, then we call it as a sharp ratio of a expected return. So that means sharp ratio can be calculated for ex post as well as a ex ant or a anticipated or expected returns. Now here we look at the simple example on calculating of a sharp index. So here you have a, a two securities. Let us say we call this as a portfolio one and a portfolio two. Then there. Uh, uh, returns return on a portfolio and uh, risk of a portfolio so two different portfolios 14% and 11% is the return so one portfolio has a return of a 14% 
0.14 you can take or you can take a 14 percent here because all are measured in the same so 11 percent and their risks are 10 percent and 8 percent now for this the risk free rate this is uh, 5 percent now how is it we are going to calculate the sharp index so our sharp index this equals to return on portfolio minus risk free rate upon standard deviation of a portfolio so that means for the first one this is your return on portfolio is so this is a return on portfolio that is a portfolio one for portfolio one your return on portfolio is 14 percent minus risk free rate is a five percent then your standard deviation is 10 percent then for portfolio two so this is 11 percent minus eight upon sorry 11 percent minus uh, five percent upon eight so five percent is your uh, portfolio risk now using this uh, we calculate that is 14 minus 5 is a 9 9 upon 10 so 0 0.9 and here uh, 11 minus 5 is a 6 6 upon 8 so 0.75 when you look at these two so the sharp index of a portfolio one is a higher there is a 0 0.9 whereas for the sharp index of a portfolio two is 0 0.75 so this is considered as a superior when comparing to this now here what is that we are uh, considering is for every unit of a risk that you are taking that is your uh, denominator is a standard deviation of a portfolio so for every unit of a risk whether your portfolio is yielding you a positive return or not so for every one unit of a return here that is a risk here 0 0.6 here this portfolio is yielding you a 0 0.9 as a return this is yielding you a 0 0.7 as a return 0.75 so that is the reason why we consider portfolio one is a superior when comparing with the portfolio two the same thing uh, we can also go for uh, individual securities also now here is the interpretation that is uh, a fund with a higher sharp ratio indicates that higher risk adjusted return so the risk adjusted return for a portfolio one in our case is high if the two funds offer similar returns the one with the higher standard deviation will be having a lower sharp ratio then the sharp ratio is a relative measure of risk adjusted return if considered in isolation it does not provide much information about the fund performance in the sense uh, very importantly when we are looking at a sharp ratio we will not do it in isolation for one, one security it has to be done uh, as a comparison or sharp ratio is also used to rank your portfolios to know that uh, which portfolio is yielding, yielding your higher returns now the limitations of this uh, sharp index is that sharp index considers you as a standard deviation that is a stock specific risk or individual risk and which assumes a symmetrical distribution of a returns in the sense when the data is a uh, return series is normally distributed many times the data may not be normally distributed among uh, around its a mean value so for asymmetrical returns that is a non-normal data distribution which is having a skewness uh, greater or less than a zero or kurtosis less than or three sharp ratio may not be a good measure that means if your data is not normally distributed or if you have a skew in your data or if you have a courtesis in your data then your uh, sharp index will not give you a appropriate result now considering a standard deviation as a proxy for risk has its own pitfalls in the sense uh, as uh, we are taking considering only the uh, in, in stock specific risk we are ignoring the market risk so if you ignore the market risk then there is a possibility that it may not be a accurate measure so even then uh, as uh, uh, sharp index has got these limitations sharp index is most popularly used uh, performance risk adjusted performance measure in evaluating the portfolios especially uh, mutual funds and uh, uh, stocks so thank you thank you for watching my lecture on uh, sharp ratio when time permits please visit archivocity youtube channel also archivocity website from where you can download hundreds of uh, video links in a pdf form and uh, uh, whenever you have a time you can click the link from the pdf and watch the videos have a great time